Hi all, we're going to see how to draw this or any other graphic with a quick tip that will make it easy even if you're a newbie and don't know how to use the pen tool. Okay, so we have this graphic. I selected this one because it has nice curves in here, so it would be good for the exercise. And I'm gonna show you how to kind of like hack, if you wanna call it like that, the pen tool, because we're not gonna be using all these um, options we have in here, which especially if you're new to the software or any other software, vector software, you may be intimidated about. So what I want you to see is that it's really easy to use it. Once you get a grasp on it, it's just really easy to use it. It makes everything makes sense all of a sudden. But for starters, uh, I would like you to try this method, which is quite direct, quite easy and you really have to do little. So we're not gonna touch any of these options here. We're just gonna go for the pen mode, pen mode, which is the default one. And let's start. So what I'm going to do is click on every angle I see in this graphic. And I'm gonna worry about nothing but clicking in every angle. If we find a shape that has no angles, I'm gonna find it myself by clicking in the center point there now next one would be this one you can also zoom in so you can see it better which i'm gonna do okay so next one would be probably this one i could also um click in here but i'm gonna try with this one first so it's even easier next one next one next one and well we have here kind of like a squiggle so I will take care of it later I'm gonna just go in here okay and now I click shift and I have this straight line in here okay so I'm gonna switch this layer off so we see the shape we have and as you can see it's all straight in uh, lines and angles angles in affinity designer designer um, are the nodes are marked by a square if it was a curve it would be a circle and as you can see in here right now what we have is just this rough angled shape okay so now we're gonna click the a with the a we select this tool in here the node tool and you're gonna see how easy it is to just get all this shape right so what we do in here we place we roll over the first segment you're gonna see the the little squiggle line in, in beside the the white arrow and we're gonna pull up like so now next one is gonna be this one and this one and we keep going all through the design like so now as i was saying before i need to take care of this now because if i just pull like this the whole segment is gonna come with me and that is clearly not what we need. So just in case some people don't know it, if you roll over a segment in Affinity Designer with the node tool and you click on it, you're gonna be able to create a new node. So I'm gonna find the right point um, by looking at this curve. I would say like we need another node in more or less here. You can see we created a new node with the handles and I'm gonna pull it up like so. There's little more to do with the handlers. If you don't know how they work, just don't worry by now because, you know, as you can see, I'm just moving them very little. And we already, sorry, we already, I'm gonna make this visible with this color. So we already have the overall shape created and that was really fast and really easy, I would say. <laughs> okay, some uh, interesting things I want to add for this. Um, as you can see in here, this is quite, um, you know, there's an angle here and we don't want that because as you can see in the original, well, it's just soft and, you know, nice. How do we get rid of this? Well, usually in vector software, when you have a node and you want things to be smooth, what you usually need is just to make them aligned. Let's say like this okay so it, now it's smooth 
But for people that is not used to use the, um, the pen tool, let alone the handles, there's um, a tool here in Affinity Designer, which I love, which is amazing. And it's gonna make this much easier. You don't have to deal with the handles. Uh, I'm gonna make this a little bit more exaggerated uh, for the sake of showing you how it works, okay? And I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna put some color in here. I'm gonna get rid of the stroke. Okay, and I'm gonna make it really angled, okay? So now what we want to do is just make this a uh, little, uh, li um, sorry, what we, <laughs> what we want to do in here is make this, uh, making this uh, really soft. Um, let's just not care about the fact that this is not exactly following the shape. I just want you now to understand that you can do it like this. We take the cool, uh, see, really cool, the corner tool, <laughs> click in it, we roll over the, the node, where the cusp is, where the angle is, and by clicking on it and dragging inwards like this, Finity Designer is gonna help you make everything really smooth, okay? So this is something you can try in order to make your angles really smooth. Okay, now, of course, we don't want it like this because we want it to be uh, faithful to the original graphic. So for that, and because we had this originally, I would just go in here and just make it smooth like so, okay? The other was just for the sake of showing you how it works, so you really see it, you really get to see it. Okay, so now, next move would be selecting this one. Now that I can see that it is looking pretty good, I'm gonna duplicate by Command C, Command V, now we have it duplicated here. I'm gonna flip it, flip horizontal, like so. And by clicking Shift, I drag it to the other side of the canvas. Okay, this is not a straight line, but I can just fix it easily. Like this, and just move it a little bit, like so. And now I'm going to click Add in Operations. If you happen not to have these operations or these transforms or any of the tools I have outside in your own menu, just please watch this other video of mine where I show you how to pull them out, how to customize your menus. Um, but now, um, as I was saying, this is um, the two shapes we have. We click on Add. We're gonna create just out of the two shapes, just one. So we click in add, and as you can see now, we have a single shape, okay? There's a little gap in here, and that tells me that probably, uh, actually, yeah, that's the way it is. This is not exactly um, symmetrical, as you can see, this is different to this one, okay? But that, that is not really important right now. I'm, I mean, you can just easily tweak it in such a way that you click on there and just move it around like this and just go like this and move it a little bit like you know no mystery to this okay i'm gonna i'm gonna just do it so it's done okay so next thing is gonna be zooming out sorry zooming out i'm gonna unlock this layer gonna pull it to the side and now what I need is just to create the rest so first thing I'm gonna just take this color we have the background now we need to create the rest of them of the graphic we're gonna follow the same principle we grab the pen tool and again angle angle next one this is a really curvy line so I'm just gonna go I'm gonna go like this and like this and this one here um, mm, yeah this one here keep going okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah like this like this I mean, if you wonder why I click here and not here, I'm just 
well, this is experience, I guess, but I just go trying and whatever needs to be fixed, I will fix later. So no stress about it. This one here is the same principles as what we just did for the back uh, shape. So like this, like this, and like this. Okay, this is what we have. I'm going to give you the color so you can see it better. Okay, a little bit of transparency. So now I can see how I need to move about. So I click on A in my keyboard for the node tool in here and I start pulling everything what I need it to be. Okay. And again, this one is going to go like this. I'm going to zoom in. Uh, mm -mm -mm. I don't really like this because I'm going to need another one. So we can just make it curvier. Okay. Click again in this one, pull up, pull down the handles. I mean, there's always involved a little bit of work with the handles, but as you can see, it's no rocket science. Okay, so just go and try it. I'm um, gonna pull it there. This one in here, that one goes like this. Another one in here, this goes in here, that goes in there. Actually, if you place the, the notes, the new notes you create in the right place, probably you're gonna have much less work involved with the handlers if you still don't feel comfortable about them. So, another one here. Another one, we pull there, we pull there, place a node in there uh, with it. And this one, and this one goes like this. Simple, pretty simple. And again, gonna get rid of the background image. I'm gonna come here and say, okay. Not sure if this color is the best to see what's going on. Yeah, this is better. Again, imperfections like this, I repeat the same corner tool. Click on it and pull in words. And everything I see that I want, uh, you know, I see it a little bit sloppy or whatever. I'm just going to go with my corner tool and say, OK, let's see. Mm. Just, you know, make it smoother and nicer like in here in here that's still quite crappy so mm, i'm gonna just pull a little bit here like this yeah it's softer now Opa. Okay, so basically, mm, that's the thing. Now I bring back my image, take this in here. I'm gonna actually um, grab first the color, pull up the opacity, okay. And now what I want to do, okay, yeah, not to just get things wrong, what I usually would do. Is just put it on put it on top of the original group it so my bear opa I don't know what's wrong with this sometimes it just doesn't write properly and now I pull down a little bit the opacity and I can just um, place things where they belong so that would be yeah there then, of course, you just can go and make these things better and so on. But I guess you get the whole idea of how easy it is really to start using the pen tool without really making a fuss about it. Like, I mean, 
easily you're gonna get to do exactly what you need and I tell you this works for every graphic it doesn't matter if it's this simple graphic or something more complex you start using it like this you get familiarized with it and little by little you're gonna really see how little mystery there is about it I mean sometimes I read books uh, especially when I was starting or I would see tutorials I didn't because um, there weren't many <laughs> but sometimes it was just over complicated over complex what um, was explained in there and really there's not so much about it uh, if you're really interested um, just tell me leave a comment or whatever and I will make a tutorial fully on the pen tool um, maybe I do it anyways because uh, I think it's uh, we need to demystify it. It's really, and especially with a new software like Affinity Designer, some other um, out there like Gravit or Sketch, the pen tool cut really, 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 really. I mean, it feels like a, driving a Rolls Royce compared to some of the tools of the past uh, and even some of the present. So just go ahead and try it. Uh, I'm gonna finish this, uh, I'm gonna speed it up so it's not too tedious, but I'm gonna follow the same principles, okay? Okay, so this is it. Thanks for watching. Please, if you like, comment, ask for more, like, subscribe, because that's the only way I'm gonna be able to keep doing tutorials for you all. And uh, take a look at my portfolio so you can see what uh, you may be able to, to learn. Um, I can tell you, there was a time where when I didn't just know how to do anything with vectors and see the pieces I do now and it's just about trying and, and I learned it on my own so I'm here to help just uh, ask me whatever and thanks for watching bye bye